Erica, police arrested Michael Close within hours of the shooting thanks to help they received from Michael Close's girlfriend. And today we learned more about Close's troubled history and his words of regret he told others that prosecutors will surely use against him at a future murder trial. 36-year-old Michael Close just snapped, according to what he told one friend. When investigators arrested him, he was saying, I'm sorry, according to Denver Police Detective Joseph Trujillo. Trujillo is the lead detective on the case and the only person who testified today about a senseless shooting that took the life of 21-year-old Isabel Thales and left her 27-year-old boyfriend, Darian Simon, injured. The couple was walking their dog when Close allegedly yelled, are you going to train that effing dog or just yell at it? as the dog was going to the bathroom near Close's apartment complex. Moments later, surveillance video played at court this morning showed Close firing 24 shots through his window from a high-powered assault rifle. According to testimony, he then called his girlfriend crying and mumbling he had just killed two people. She told him to turn himself in, but he said he was afraid to do so. Then he texted a longtime friend to say, Dude, I effed up really effing bad. There's no going back from this now. Police found open containers of alcohol and cocaine residue in his apartment, according to a search warrant. His girlfriend told police he had abused everything from cocaine to ecstasy to ketamine, and that Close was not mentally stable and had not been the entire time she knew him, adding he suffered from depression and a personality disorder that, as far as she knew, had never been treated. Now, Close had no criminal history before the shooting, but told friends he'd been placed into a mental institution at the age of 12, because of childhood sex abuse, and police had contacted him about a mental health hold back in 2014. He now faces a total of 22 counts, including first-degree murder. Rob Lowe, Fox 31.